Most people only realize the value of a durable screen after their phone slips out of their hand and falls to the pavement. The startle, followed by the dull thud and careful inspection for cracks, is a nearly universal modern ritual. Elon Musk seems to have understood this everyday drama and decided to target it head-on with the Tesla Pi Phone 2026. The idea isn't just to sell another smartphone in an already saturated market, but to redefine what users expect from a device that costs as much as a computer. And the first promise is bold, a virtually unbreakable screen. Inspired by the Cybertruck's laminated glass, the same one that became a meme when it shattered on stage, but was later reinforced, the Pi Phone's display features a multi-layer structure with thicknesses ranging from 1.2 mm to 2 mm. This may seem overly technical at first glance, but it represents a leap forward in impact engineering. While most smartphones use ultra-thin panels, less than 0.8 mm thick, the Tesla phone relies on automotive-grade toughness to withstand the harsh realities of high-priced pockets and the asphalt. This robustness, in fact, is what sets the Pi phone apart from almost all its competitors. According to estimates from repair networks, one in three phones experiences a cracked screen within the first two years, and the replacement cost is not at all affordable over $300 for premium models. Tesla's proposal is, essentially, to nip this problem in the bud. If the screen can withstand drops of up to two meters onto hard surfaces, such as concrete, many of these accidents cease to be a real risk, and the user's wallet will thank them. The secret behind this lies in how the impact energy is distributed. In the Cybertruck, laminated glass acts like armor, Instead of concentrating the force in a single point, it spreads the impact across a larger surface. By applying the same principle on a smaller scale, Tesla promises a panel capable of absorbing up to twice the energy compared to standard cell phone glass. This means that even if the phone falls hard, the screen's chances of survival are much higher. Of course, all of this raises an important question. How to make such a thick screen without compromising feel, weight, and aesthetics. The answer seems to lie in combining hybrid composite materials, which allow for rigidity with flexibility and transparency with strength. It's like using the same logic as a car windshield, but adapted to a pocket-sized gadget. And according to rumors, the visual result is virtually indistinguishable from current screens maintaining that premium look consumers expect from a flagship. Another point worth noting is the potential impact this technology could have on the rest of the market. If the Pi phone truly delivers on its promise, it will be difficult for Apple, Samsung, and others to ignore the changing trend. After all, no one likes carrying around a protective case and thick screen protector, but everyone is afraid of damage. A phone that eliminates this concern automatically becomes a desirable object, especially among the clumsy or those who live in high-risk environments, such as workshops, construction sites, or even schools. It's also worth highlighting how this decision to focus on durability goes against the grain of planned obsolescence that dominates the industry. While many devices are designed to last until the end of their warranty, the Pi phone, at least in theory, is designed to withstand time, rough use, and everyday accidents. This not only changes the consumer's relationship with the product, but also has environmental and economic implications, reducing electronic waste and the constant replacement cycle. And it's curious to think that this revolution begins exactly where most cell phones end, with the impact of a drop, turning a smartphone's most vulnerable point into one of its greatest assets, is, to say the least, a bold strategic move. And if it actually works in practice, the Tesla Pi Phone 2026 may not just be another launch with a famous name, but the beginning of a new era in how phones cope with gravity. Eliminating the notch has always been an ambitious goal among smartphone manufacturers, but few have come close to a truly satisfactory solution. Even the most modern models 
like the iPhone with its dynamic island, or Samsung's flagships with their central punch holes, continue to invade the screen with cutouts that seem small at first glance, but directly affect the visual experience. The Tesla Pi Phone 2021 aims to put an end to this once and for all, and the secret may be hidden beneath the screen itself, literally. We're talking about an invisible front-facing camera, fully integrated into the panel. This type of technology, known as an under-display camera, has been tried before by brands like ZTE and Samsung. However, the results were disappointing. Blurry photos, poor sharpness, and compromised transparency made these experiments more conceptual than practical. Tesla's big bet is to apply its existing expertise to another area, the dashboards of its electric cars. The brand's automotive displays are known for their intense brightness, with over a thousand nits, and for remaining legible even in direct sunlight, which could be the key to solving the dilemma of light passing through the pixels. If the company can adapt microlayer technology with intelligent brightness and opacity control, as it already does in vehicles like the Model S and Model X, this hidden camera could capture images without losing definition, even while under the display's glass. This would pave the way for a truly immersive experience, where the user sees no interruptions in the image, just a clean, uniform, continuous display. For those who watch videos, read news, or edit images, this benefit is more than aesthetic. It's functional. Another interesting aspect of this solution is accessibility. It may seem like a minor detail, but for those with visual impairments or who use their smartphone in bright environments, every inch of screen space makes a difference. A small cutout can obscure a caption, make it difficult to read, or disrupt an app's layout. By completely eliminating these intrusive elements, the Pi phone positions itself as a more inclusive device, allowing content to occupy the entire screen without hindrance. And it's not just about hiding the camera, it's about giving the user more control. There are indications that the system will allow you to manually activate or deactivate the lens visibility, like a digital chameleon mode. In other words, the camera disappears when you don't want to use it and discreetly reappears when needed without compromising privacy or design. It's a step beyond simply eliminating notches. It's about making the phones look fluid, adaptable, and above all, discreet. This also creates new possibilities for interface development. With more usable screen space available, apps can better utilize the space, displaying additional information expanded panels, or animations that were previously interrupted by fixed elements. The visual sensation becomes more cinematic, something increasingly valued in a world where short videos and video calls dominate much of everyday mobile device usage. The tendency, at this point, is for competitors to feel pressured to follow suit. After all, who would want to buy a phone with a hole in the screen if there's another with an invisible camera and equal or superior quality? This is the kind of silent provocation Tesla is trying to achieve. Not by saying the future has arrived, but simply by putting it in the user's hands and letting them naturally notice what's changed. When the difference becomes obvious in everyday life, marketing becomes almost unnecessary. Perhaps the most curious thing about all this is how such a small problem, a mere millimeter cut, has endured for so many years as a necessary evil. And now, suddenly, it seems like it might disappear without a trace. If this innovation truly works, the Pi Phone 2026 will not only be remembered as a durable phone, but also as the one that cleaned up the screen once and for all. And this, in a world where aesthetics and functionality increasingly go hand in hand, could be the factor that makes someone switch brands for the first time in years. Extreme brightness and absolute fluidity are promises that sound exaggerated in any smartphone until someone actually manages to deliver both simultaneously. That's exactly where the Tesla Pi Phone 2026 aims to raise the bar, not just to attract attention, but to redefine what a smartphone display can offer in practice.
The proposed use of a micro-LED panel with peak brightness of up to 3,500 nits and a 240 Hz refresh rate places this device far beyond the current standard, both in visibility and continuous visual performance. To give you an idea of the leap, today's most advanced smartphones barely exceed 2,000 nits at maximum brightness, which is already sufficient for bright environments. But when you're in direct sunlight, reading a map, or checking a critical notification, these numbers aren't just a luxury, they're a necessity. Tesla, by importing lighting technologies used in vehicle displays, such as those found in the Model S, shows it understands this urgency. And if this proves true, the Pi phone could allow content to be read in any light condition without having to hide the screen with your hand. Now, when we think of a 240 hertz refresh rate, many people think of video games. But the truth is, this number has an impact far beyond gaming. It reduces the time between screen refreshes to about 4 milliseconds, transforming everything from simply scrolling through a news feed to reading financial charts into an incredibly smooth experience. Anyone working with technical images, spreadsheets, or long PDFs will notice the difference from the first touch. And this type of fluidity has a direct effect on eye strain. On devices with lower frame rates, the constant movement of text or visual elements creates micro tremors that the human eye constantly tries to compensate for. It's an invisible but cumulative effort. With a screen that responds faster than the brain can perceive, the strain decreases, which means fewer headaches, less fatigue, and more time without discomfort. For older audiences or those with sensitive eyes, this is a game changer. Another relevant point is power consumption. It may seem contradictory, but micro-LED not only delivers more brightness, but also consumes less than traditional technologies like OLED. This is possible because micro-LED doesn't require a backlight panel. Each pixel emits its own light. The result is energy savings that don't compromise performance, a rare thing in a world where power often means battery drain. On the Pi phone, the equation seems to work the other way around. Brighter, less power. Furthermore, this technology allows for more accurate colors, deeper blacks, and contrast that makes videos, photos, and even text more defined. Instead of artificially increasing saturation, as many manufacturers do, micro-LED displays what's on screen more naturally. This is essential for those who edit visual content, but it also benefits any average user who simply wants to watch cinematic quality video without having to mess with settings. It's also worth highlighting the impact on the device's overall design. Because the panel is more efficient and thinner, there's room for other improvements inside, be it a larger battery, a more robust AI chip, or even more advanced cooling systems. In a market where every millimeter counts, this gives Tesla a real engineering advantage that can be felt not only in the technical figures, but also in everyday use. When you put all this together, brightness, fluidity, energy savings, visual comfort, and structural efficiency, you realize that the Pi Phone 2026 isn't just trying to be the best in a specific category. It's aiming to deliver a display that truly changes the way people interact with their phones. And if it can achieve that, the competition will have to race to reach a standard that, until yesterday, seemed unattainable. Artificial intelligence is no longer exclusive to laboratories or futuristic films. It's in your pocket, in cars, in voice assistants, and even in social media filters. But what Tesla proposes with the Pi Phone 2026 is a bold leap, bringing the power of a supercomputer like Dojo, created to train neural networks for self-driving cars, into a smartphone, and not just as a marketing tool, but as a functional local resource that's independent of an internet connection. Dojo, for those unfamiliar, is a high-performance computing system that runs hundreds of trillions of operations per second. It was designed to train the neural networks in Tesla vehicles, enabling them to see and react to their surroundings in real time. 
Now imagine a compact version of this technology running inside a phone, handling everyday tasks at such high speeds that response times become almost imperceptible. It's like giving your phone a brain that thinks before the user even finishes the command. This means, for example, that features like language translation, voice recognition, or automatic photo organization would no longer require the cloud to function. Instead of relying on an internet connection to send data, wait for a response from servers, and then display the results, the Pi phone could process everything right there in milliseconds. A conversation with a foreign taxi driver, an urgent medical order, or a hastily dictated reminder would now happen without delay and without room for errors caused by a weak signal. For those who live in areas with unstable coverage or who travel frequently, this is a huge advantage. Many users have grown accustomed to digital assistants that don't work well outside of Wi-Fi. Tesla's proposal, on the contrary, is for the Pi phone to be always available, always sharp, ready to act without relying on third parties. This independence changes the relationship with the device. It ceases to be a terminal and becomes a truly intelligent tool, almost like a true personal assistant. Another advantage is privacy. By processing data locally, the phone avoids constantly sending sensitive information to external servers. This reduces exposure to data leaks, espionage, and tracking, an increasingly sensitive topic for users who value their digital security. Knowing that your commands, translations, or images never leave the device can generate a level of trust that few brands offer today. And performance, even compacted, wouldn't be modest. Estimates point to a capacity of between 50 and 70 trillion operations per second inside the Pi phone. For comparison's sake, this surpasses most of the dedicated AI chips found in high-end notebooks and tablets. The idea of having this level of power in a device that fits in the palm of your hand seems absurd, but it makes perfect sense coming from a company that's been putting computers on wheels for years. And of course, this also opens the door to features not yet available on other devices. Real-time image processing, surgically precise ambient noise filtering, gesture commands, deep app customization, and even potential accessibility features. All of this becomes more feasible with a chip that can think for itself without relying on the internet or the response time of remote servers. Ultimately, what's at stake here isn't just raw performance, but a paradigm shift. The Pi Phone 2026 promises to do for smartphones what Tesla did for cars, take control away from the big networks and put it back in the hands of the user. And for those who value autonomy and speed, this could be more revolutionary than any hardware innovation. Removing excess has always been a challenge in product design, but when done strategically, what's left is pure functionality. This seems to be the idea behind the Tesla Pi Phone 2026's design, a minimalist look where every button removed represents one less flaw, every port eliminated is one less weak point to break, and every aesthetic decision has a practical reason behind it. No frills, unnecessary curves, or excess components. The idea is clear.